Leaders sometimes have to reach deep within themselves to find the courage and strength of character to serve others, resist temptation, behave morally, and stand up for ethical principles. Courage is all about strength in the face of pain or grief. Courage is the mental and moral strength to engage in, preserve through, and withstand danger, difficulty, or fear. The bottom line is, courage means accepting responsibility. Leaders make a real difference in the world when they're willing to step up and take personal responsibility. Some people just let life happen to them. Leaders make things happen. Courageous leaders create opportunities to make a difference in their organizations and communities. And courage often means nonconformity. Leadership courage means going against the grain, breaking tradition, reducing boundaries, and initiating change. Leaders are willing to take risks for a larger, ethical purpose, and they encourage others to do so. Courage also means pushing beyond your comfort zone. To take a chance and improve things means leaders have to push beyond their comfort zones. When people go beyond that comfort zone, they encounter an internal wall of fear. And that's why it's important that courage means asking for what you want and saying what you think. Leaders have to speak out to influence others. However, the desire to please others, especially the boss, can sometimes block the truth. Everyone wants approval, so it's difficult to say things when you think others will disagree or disapprove. But finally, courage also means fighting for what you believe. Courage means fighting for valued outcomes that benefit the whole. Leaders take risks, so they do so for a higher purpose. So what does courage have to do with leadership? Acting like a moral leader requires personal courage. To practice moral leadership, leaders have to know themselves, understand their strengths and weaknesses, know what they stand for, and be nonconformists. Honest self-analysis can be painful, and acknowledging one's limitations in order to recognize the superior ability of others takes some personal strength of character. In addition, moral leadership means building relationships, which requires listening, having significant personal experiences with others, and making yourself vulnerable. Leaders oppose unethical conduct that requires courage. Whistleblowing means the disclosure of illegal, immoral, or unethical practices in an organization, and a leader is willing to do so. Leaders have personal courage. How does a leader find the courage to step through fear and confusion and act despite the risks involved? All of us have the potential to live and act courageously. Courage comes easy when we fight for something we really believe in. And finally, courageous leaders take small steps. In most cases, finding courage is a deliberate act. Courage can be thought of as a decision-making skill and is developed through conscious thought and practice. Courageous leaders are not reckless or foolhardy. They typically are people who have developed skills and resources they need to take a difficult stand or to pursue a tough course of action. Courage means having the mental and moral strength to confront, preserve through, and withstand danger, difficulty, and fear. Courageous leaders accept responsibility, take risks and make changes, they speak their mind, and they fight for what they believe.